Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can create a Kubo light inside 3ds Max. First of all, let's see what is Kubo exactly. In real life, the Kubo is an object placed inside or in front of a light source to control the shape of the emitted light and its shadow. And photographers use a lot of Kubo in their shots. As you can see here some of example of their works. In 3D software it's a little bit different with uh, real life. As you can see here in 3D software, a light source emits a light with a texture that will serve as a mask. It can be a spotlight or a rectangle light. Look at these two scenes. Left one is flat, without story, without any atmosphere, and the right one is much more complex. It suggests an environment the contrast is much more pronounced. You can break up the light and add visual depth to your renders through the gubos. As you can see here, some of the renders which I've done by uh, using Google Light. Amazing renders, nice shadows, it makes difference. Even you can create some caustic effects, it's very optimized, but the Google will do the job. And here you can see some example of the Google, and uh, we can use these kind of black and white images inside our works, inside our tree softwares, we have to use these black and white shadow images. You can simply download it by searching on Google. Okay, so let's see how we can create this uh, kind of Google lighting inside 3ds Max. Let me minimize the PRF. Okay, here I have a very simple scene. It is just a simple wall, simple boxes, and some objects which I have made this before. And here I have a very simple lighting setup. When I start interactive rendering, you can see that I have a uh, just a skylight. It's Chrono Sky. In this case, I'm using Chrono Render Engine to see the result. Okay, so let's see how we can create a Google lighting. It's very simple. To do this, you have to create some uh, rectangle light or spotlight. I'm using the Corona Rectangle Light. Just drag it to your scene. Adjust the size. I can play with the size a little bit and play with the angles and you have to increase the directionality value to the maximum value like one is the maximum value it's very important and then we can use a text map you have to use a text map to simulate exactly the Google lighting inside 3ds max when I hit the no map we can add a bitmap and after that I can add a, a shadow packages which I have downloaded before and be sure to check the loadout sequence open and hit OK open my material later and drag it to my material later and now you can see the animated shadow here when I'm moving the slider it's very clear also don't forget to decrease the blur effects to the minimum value which it is 0 0.01 sorry I have to uncheck the emit on both sides because it will emit it at the back side of the lights we don't need it we need to just emit the light at one side so let's take a test render I will go to my camera view
then open the corner light mixer setup and generate then start interactive rendering let's see what do we have here as you can see here we have a very nice lighting effects in our render here you can see without Google lighting and with Google lighting it will add more realism to your scene you can even play with the colors for example a warm color or white color you can decrease the intensity of the color I think that's great and also you can see here the result the final animation which I did it before you can see the animated shadow and that's it for today's video and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel turn on notification for the future videos and thanks for watching and take care